This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It's meant to give us a false narrative. The markets to make bad trading decisions. Listen, the U.S. economy is in trouble. I tell y'all that every day. And a lot of people think that this BRICS thing is a joke. They think that BRICS is not going to be, if not the demise of the U.S. dollar, but it is putting a lot of pressure on the U.S. dollar. And China is not playing. China is convincing the African nations that produce copper to sell them the copper in Chinese yuan. Okay? They are refusing to buy the copper in U.S. dollars. They're trying to change the whole copper industry into a Chinese yuan type industry industry so i guess we we got the petrol dollar i guess we'll have the petrol i mean the the copper wand the bottom line is this these brick nations are doing everything in their power to stop using u.s dollar around the globe and if you guys don't understand what that's gonna do to our economy you're not paying attention. And I'm not telling you to, to buy, hold, or sell U.S. dollars. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell BRICS currency. That's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is this. If the U.S. dollar is slowly, slowly moved out of international trade, if the Chinese yuan become the replacement currency for the U.S. dollar, for oil, for copper, for gold, the value of the U.S. dollar is going to collapse, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on the U.S. economy. And if you guys don't believe that, think about this. A lot of times, why do you think people buy U.S. Treasury bonds? Not, not people, not people, excuse me countries so they can have access to u.s dollars so they can trade and do other things that they need u.s dollars for but if they don't need u.s dollars to trade if they can buy gold in one if they, if they can buy copper in one if they can buy oil petrol in one the demand for the u.s dollar drops and in my opinion it can shift the world's superpower. It, 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 it really can. I mean, that's just my opinion. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. But I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that China attempting to turn the copper trade into the, the Chinese yuan copper trade, do you think that's going to put additional pressure on the U.S. dollar and ruin our economy. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.